Hi guys and, and gals. Yeah, Mark from Sharkbait here. This may be the quickest video I make. Yeah, um, I say that before I start talking, which uh, we'll see. Yeah, we made a couple of really, really special buys recently. Yeah, um, so you know, this is the type of video that goes up and then you know at some point it needs to go down because we can't support it any longer. But I really wanted to get the word out on this one because it's an unusual buy. Uh, it's nothing that we've been able to score before. Uh, it's something that's usually quite expensive. Uh, and it still is expensive, but it's a hell of a lot less money now than it usually is. Uh, what I'm talking about is this reel right here. Uh, so let's see if we can't zoom in a little bit on it. Uh, this is a Seaborg, a Daiwa Seaborg. 1200 um, MJ. This is the US version. This is not an import, although it's made in Japan. Uh, we're not buying the Japanese stock. This is the one that's made for US market. What does that mean? It means you have an instruction manual and you've got operation of the controls in English, not just Japanese, and you have a manufacturer's warranty you know, on the piece, which you would not get on the product that's brought straight over from Japan. This is from Daiwa. This is the big gun from them. You know, they had one larger reel in this series, an MP3000 that was over $3,000, that was built like a tank, kind of like a 130 or 80 size you know, all machine. This piece you know, was made to retail for $1,700. That's $1,699.99. So, you know, I got pushing close to two grand, and we sold several of these to guys using them from rock fishing to tuna to even swords, you know, swordfish. Incredible pieces. Now, you know, given it's US, it does come with the proper, you know, brochures, comes with the cable so you can plug it into your battery. A lot of guys are using pigtails and running off of wheelchair batteries or smaller 12 volts. It's made for 12 volt operation. What's unique about this piece and why it's worth the money is because basically it's a, call it a twin power. You've got a high and a low. Um, high in terms of speed, where it's picking up quite a bit of line per crank, and then low where you're getting more torque out of it. You've got mag seal bearings. It's made to fish salt water. Mag seal bearings do a great job in that respect. Um, it has a line counter, of course, built into it. You've got some programmability with it. Uh, you can use this piece for jigging, and it's going to work the lures for you. It'll remember the depth. Uh, it can remember your line test, how many yards you've got on it. You know, it does an awful lot of thinking for you, you know, and it's got some power to it. So, you know, bigger fish may slow down that gear ratio a little bit and have greater torque. You know, you're bringing up nothing. It's going to go at high speed and bring it on back in. There's not a hell of a lot you have to do other than fish the piece. And in that, it does really, really well. You know, so either low power you know, or rather low speed you know, for high power or high speed, you know, bringing in a lot of, a lot of yardage per crank. 21 bearings, you know, one M and B. You know, you've got a standard gear ratio of 2.9 to 1. You know, it can do 155 meters per minute in high. 155 meters per minute. That's a lot, you know, or 65 per minute in low. You know, let's see what else I can say. Uh, 60, 65 pound line, figure you can get about 900 yards on this piece. Uh, 80 pound, we're getting 800. Um, some guys are going with holocore, so I'm going with solid. Obviously the holocore has some, some, benefits in case you get, some benefits in case you get cut off or you, know, you want to do an inline connection so no bumpity bumps you know, going through rod guides or dealing with level wind. Although the level wind on this, I, you can't see it maybe very well in the, in the image here, um, but it's oversized. Uh, it could deal with, hell, it could deal with 130 pound you know, braid and, and 100 pound leader and go through that thing, I think. Uh, pretty well. Although most guys will set this up with a you know, snap swivel at the end of the braid and then we'll be connecting their leader or whatever outside of the rod tip you know, is, is what a lot of guys will wind up doing with this. And it'll remember, it'll bring stuff, it'll bring the line back in up to that point. You know, so, you know, it, again, it takes a lot of the stress and, and the worry you know, out of your hands and, and puts it into the brain of this computer. 
Uh, you can switch between that high and the low. Uh, it has a toggle feature to it. Uh, you know, standard, you know, star drag type of operation uh, in terms of setting your drag. You know, we can spool them up for you here, or you can do that at home. It's got a pin on the spool so it's easy to tie on. You know, and with that, you don't have any rotation on the spool from the braid slipping. You know, it makes that, you know, very, very user friendly. You know, you know they talk about some of the specs. If you look at the Japanese websites, you know, they'll talk about you know, oh, maximum power and, and a few things that technically are going to be above my pay grade, as this reel typically is above my pay grade. You know, but I'll encourage you to contact the shop, speak to Sergey, my son, if you can. He is more of a gearhead and can probably walk you through this piece a hell of a lot better than I can. But what I can say is that we're selling this piece for darn close to 40% off. You know, we're selling it for under $1,000. Not a whole lot under $1,000, but it's under a grand for something that has commanded $1,700 in the marketplace for several years and worth every penny of that to the guys that own them. You know, we were able to gobble up everything that Daiwa had. You know, there were close to 60 pieces available and we gobbled that up. At this point, we have less than 40 in stock, so I'm late putting the video out, but I certainly wanted to present this to our, our clients that visit Rumble or YouTube, you know, the guys that may not see the website every week, and they should be. You know, because you know, buys like this don't stick around long. You know, so you've got an opportunity here that's that's a dandy one. If you're in the market for an electric reel, you, know, you might as well. You know, if you can get the top of the line for, you know, a, a, a middle high price point, that's pretty doggone good. Now, why do we have it? What we're going to see is that Daiwa is going to shift their production like they have on some of the newer pieces out of Japan. Japan is not an inexpensive place to do business in in terms of labor costs, manufacturing. You know, I used to work in consumer electronics and we saw that go. And that's why I wound up working for Koreans and Taiwanese firms in prior career. You know, Dai was shifting their production of electric reels to, um, uh, to Thailand. And you know, that will be good, solid. You know, Daiwa, it will be on top of the factory for sure. But you gotta say, Japanese produced pieces, you know, have a reason, you know, why why people like them so much. You know, quality of manufacture is there, and these pieces are well proven. Looks like I've got a phone call, so I better run. Mark out. I got to go get the phone. But I take advantage of this thing. The deal won't stick around long. Nine ninety nine, regular price, seventeen hundred bucks. Mark out.